So this is a curb mount skylight cut in half. I, I think it gives you an interesting view to kind of show you the inner workings of a curb mount aluminum frame skylight. So again, you have your retaining frame that's pushing down, squeezing the inner and outer dome together with the base frame. And you can clearly see in here that you have the condensation gutter on the inside. That's for any water and moisture that's coming up from the inside of the home. Well, and you also have this outer track here that's for any water that would seep in from where the plastic meets the aluminum frame. Gravity then forces the water to the corner where there's a punch or hole at each of the four corners. And if you flip the skylight upside down, you can kind of see how it's gapped right there in the corner. So you can see that's where the water's draining out. So again, gravity is pushing it to the corner. Also like the fact that you can see the outer dome is higher than the inner dome. They typically have an overall width and length that's the same. The lip, flat lip on the inner dome is typically just slightly wider than on the outer dome, which allows them to nest well together. And then you have your retaining screw that's holding the retaining frame to the base of the skylight, and then you have a pre-punched hole where you're using a corrosion resistant nail or screw to hold it in place. Again, when you flip it upside down, this is what we call the mounting flange from, from this metal to this metal. And that needs to be larger than the wood curb that's flashed in that you're capping over. And again, you're typically sealing this bottom part of your aluminum frame to the top part of the curb. So that's going right over the wood and sealing there.